welcome back to 25 Days of Tech It. As you can tell by my voice, I'm sure, I am starting to feel a little more sick, but I, I'm making video every day, and whether I'm sick or not, I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this thing out. So today, we are going to do something. I've been uh, converting all of my items to diamonds using the philosopher, well not philosopher stone, but the aluminium stone. Because I figured why not, then it looks like we have a bunch of diamonds, and really we don't have a bunch of diamonds. I mean like, well, it's really close. I started keeping a book of uh, all the snow golems that we have. So I made some more, as you can see, Hansel, Mac, Geoffrey. I always pronounce that Geoffrey, just because. Charles, Franz, and then um, Steve died already, and Bruce also died. Bruce died because of a skeleton. But that's why they all seem to die. I was trying to put them out here to protect Gunther, but they never seem to want to stay out here. But anyway, um, I'll show you how many diamonds I've made. I've made 10 diamonds. I could make more, I do have enough gold to do that. But we don't want to use up all the gold. Only excess gold. I do want to make a musket, which requires iron and flint and steel. Well, I have all of those things. It's also going to require the wood over here. So is it two sticks? And then that, yes it is. There's the gun stock. We need, actually, no, it goes like that. And this, there's our musket barrel. Oh, no, it goes up like that. No, it goes underneath it. Alright. And then, we should have stone somewhere. Well, I mean, of course, we have stone somewhere. We can take a stone knife, put it there, and then now we have a musket with a stone bayonet. I figured a gun more suits our Robocop appearance, even though it is just a measly musket. It's something, you know. Now we're going to need a musket, musket rounds. I was going to say balls, but they're not actually musket balls. Around. We need paper for that. Gotta give us eight musket rounds. Oh, I did not mean to shift click that. Oops. And iron does not go in there, iron goes in here. I don't know if we want to, I mean, we can add things to this, I can add a flame one and an infinity one, I think we want just, I just want to get a normal, uh, normal, um, it'll come to me, give it time, No. why you, oh come on, stop that, ugh, that's why you should not have obsidian in your hand. Because then you accidentally place it down and you have to mine it out with a diamond pick. Luckily, I saved one of these things. So there we go. 
Anyway, as I was trying to say before I did that, I want to make just a normal enchanting table. I have the auto enchanter, but like, I have so many levels that I just kind of want to, you know, do it myself sometimes. As you can see, I did lose all of my levels. That's because I went into a dimensional door, which so rudely spawned me back into the normal world in the void. So I spawned in the void and lost all of the items. Now, because I know better than to take all of my items in there, I only took what I absolutely needed, which was like a sword, a pick, and um, some building blocks, and food. I didn't want to bring all of my stuff, I wanted to put this one in there. Power 1. Alright. Then, wait, I left my books back here. But I don't think we're going to have enough to put both books on. And name it, that is. We, we always want to name our weapons. Does it go like this? Yeah, look, that takes eight. You don't have eight. Out of my way. So for now, we do have 24 rounds. There'll be, there'll be plenty enough. Let's, what just even happened? Shift click that into there and it somehow flew out. Alright, so now we've got this uh, musket. Which is uh, pretty cool. There's no way that this thing is completely empty. Oh, huh? well, I guess maybe it is completely empty. I have trouble believing that, but if that's what it wants to believe for itself, I'm not going to complain. Um, what else do we want to do today? I'm gonna throw this wood in here. Start cooking it up. I guess what we can do today this is going to be a new advancement in Alpha Inc. We are going to start working on space. So we're going to need this NASA. Need this NASA workbench. In bar lead, normal crafting table. We don't have enough in bar. I have tons of in bar blend. Um, we need the electrum. We need the lead. And I should have a crafting table somewhere. So I was putting crafting tables in all of the rooms in the building, just so that way I would never have to be like, oh, I need to run and find a crafting table when I have like one thing to build. Alright, so we needed how many? Four? We'll just let that cook while we look at um, other things. We can go to item subsets and go to like like the craft. We have there it is. Either way, we'll figure this stuff out. We're gonna need oxygen tanks, I'm sure. And Eladel, what the heck? Calcinator. Glass bell. Why can't I build a calcinator? I don't know if that's if I'm even pronouncing that right. Airlock frame. Well, I'm sure we're going to need these things, which takes meteoric. I don't know if I pronounced that right. 
So we're going to need oxygen pipes, which are very easy to make, apparently. Sealable copper wire, which we can't even view how to make, so that's pointless. Sealable oxygen pipe. Fallen meteor. Fuel loader. Rocket launch pad. Oh my god, those things are expensive. We might not be going to space anytime soon, seeing as I do not have those materials. <laughs> Heavy duty boots. Nice. There we go, now we've got ourselves a crazy looking vessel over the night time. I tend to do that. I tend to view things in there until it turns to nighttime, and then I'm like, oh no, everything's dying. Okay, we have a gun. The only thing is, we need a place to put this down. We need a room dedicated strictly to NASA. Things. And honestly, I think we can get rid of this. We're not. We're never going to use this forge lexicon. But this thing. Apparently, I can't even place it down here. Why can't I place this down? I want to see it. I put like a piece of cobblestone underneath it, will it work? Oh. Why can't I place it down? Maybe it needs more room? Like... No, maybe not. We don't have a room otherwise to put this thing. Oh, I guess it didn't need any more room. Tier 2 rocket. Well, look at this thing. Now it's just in the way. Like, now you come inside the room and you're like, Whoa, there's a giant thing in my way. Put it like right there. That's, that's slightly better. It'll work for now. So, um, I've seen this before. Oh, well, maybe it's already on this page. No, it's not. Right, so, no stone. So we need these heavy-duty platings, which is invar, copper, and tin. Luckily, I don't care about my copper or my tin, because I've got so much of it. We can just, you know, go crazy with this. Except I think I've got these two backwards. Yeah. Oh? Oh, in bar. Not lead. We are lacking in in bar. And I did it backwards again. There we go. So that gives us four pieces of heavy duty plating. Now we've got a nose cone. So, I mean, you can only assume that the nose cone goes up in the top like that. Oh, now I just uh, shot it out. Can I just store it in here indefinitely? Nope. I guess I can't. So we'll go throw this in here with the heavy duty plating. Throw all of our materials in here. So we're going to need more copper, which you just don't have any of. I guess I thought we had more copper than we really do. 
which one of these had the museum bar? I'll leave the rest of that in here for now. Alright, um, so copper. We need to go searching for some copper. Well, I'm sure that there's just an absolute ton of copper already over over in our uh, ore processing chamber. Just because like, this thing just sits here and spins. See, look at that, 60 pieces of copper. Switch these. Can I put the copper in here instead of the iron? I mean, iron's great and all, but uh. I like to always leave 10 pieces for this thing. I leave 10 in here. No, that wasn't supposed to happen. This. And then now we can double click this and stack it. I like the quick stack feature. So I guess while that's pulverizing our copper, we can go look for more. I'm sure there's plenty of copper to be found in the walls here. And I finished a fourth quarry spot. And there are diamonds down there. Oh jeez, now we're falling. There are diamonds in this quarry that I didn't pick up. But I'm waiting to get like a fortune pick. So that way I can get more diamonds than there actually are. Which would be just wonderful. Let's test this thing out. Oh jeez! <laughs> I think we might have found our new favorite weapon. I mean, Fire Stinger is great, don't get me wrong, but Fire Stinger doesn't make him a loud thunderous boom whenever it shoots something. Oops, did not mean to do that one. Alright, so there was, should be more. Oh, more quartz. We do so up oh, there's a bunch of copper right there. Nobody's coming. We're gonna just try to get a bunch of copper. And I already have some things made for space, like my helmet, for example. Oh wait, the copper's on this side. My helmet protects me from, well, it gives me oxygen. My, my uh, power suit helmet doubles as an oxygen mask, which is pretty cool. There's more copper up there. There's more copper up there too. Um, is there any more down near the bottom? I'm not seeing any. I mean, we don't need a lot more. We do have that stuff in the uh, pulverizer already. We don't need to worry about it too much. We need to more focus on the uh, invar. Now we can take the helmet off. I don't like having the helmet on all the time because it confuses me because it like turns nighttime and I'm still seeing everything perfectly fine and I think oh it's still daytime and I can keep doing things then that's when all the guys end up getting killed. Is that only 14? It's really slack in here. Can go clear out my inventory some. So I guess we can go set the uh, flint and the forge lexicon back in this little chamber here, never to be used again. And of course, we can always see that cool lightning strike right there. 
There might be some copper in here already. In bar, so where's our pulverized ferris? This one? No. Why am I out of pulverized ferris? Oh, I'm not not out of pulverized ferris at all. I was going to say, there should be no reason why I'm out of pulverized ferrets. I mean, I don't use the ferrets for anything. And I think, you know, a stack and a half of Envar probably will keep us good for a while. I could be wrong, but I think a stack and a half is going to uh, sate our need for in-bar. Alright, so what else do we need? Let's just type in rocket. Firework rocket. Here one rocket we can't make. So we need rocket engine and rocket fins. So rocket engine is an oxygen vent, buttons. So an oxygen vent is tin and lead. It's getting dark. Did I reload this? I did. I like to always have these things reloaded. Because you never know when you need to shoot somebody. You know when that creeper just sneaks up behind you and you're just caught off guard, you never know when that's going to happen, and then you just need to, like, you know, shoot the guy in the face. It's never a bad idea to just, you know, have your gun prepped to be shooting people. Alright, we're going to need more tin, I'm sure. Not that I, you know, have, like, 20 stacks of uh, pulverized tin. Actually, don't have 20 stacks of pulverized tin. But let's be on the point. We don't care. We have too much as it is. I'm trying to clear out my inventory. We got way too much stuff. We have too much stuff, but at the same time, we don't have enough of the stuff that we need. We are going to need this button. Um, what else do we need? Tin canister and the uh, oh here's a bunch of tin right there didn't even see that so an oxygen vent is like this we're going to need a tin canister like this and then another flint and steel which I did not grab the materials for that. Slowly running out of iron. Not a problem. We can... Well, actually, we're not running out of iron. We're running out of already pre-made iron uh, ingots. Here's our heavy-duty plating. Tier 1 rocket engine. There we go. Then we needed these fins. Which is... How many fins do we need? Four. Jeez, that's a lot, considering it takes up all that stuff, which means we're going to need more in bar and more plating. Let's go see how much uh, has been pulverized. We're also going to want to start working on uh, getting more charcoal. I mean, we're never going to run out of charcoal. That's not going to happen. Unless, of course, I just completely mess up and accidentally use all of my charcoal and normal coal. Then we might run out of charcoal. But, I mean, it's not hard to just make some charcoal. So we want to throw... Not in bar. Yeah, no. Pulverized tin. We can even use our normal coal for this. That's still going... Um, 
Um, cactus. That. Uh, here we go. Oh, there's more charcoal right there. Oh, faster. We can make one thing. Look at that. We are so going to space this episode with one thing. There's two more things. Just need one more now. That actually should be enough right there. Actually, no, it won't be enough because we ran out of end bar. Actually, I still lied. We also need more uh, copper. You're going to also need oxygen. So we'll need the uh, oxygen compressor or collector, maybe. Oh, that's going to take a lot of stuff. And so we want these. Uh, oxygen tanks which I mean those are going to be very easy to make we definitely will not need to worry about making oxygen tanks those will be one of the easier parts of this whole mission space there we've got our fins our rocket engine now we just need the normal plating which will come about on its own, basically. Once all that stuff gets smelted, we'll just make a bunch of it. And then we'll be able to go into space as soon as we make an oxygen compressor or collector, whatever. We'll just collect all the oxygen, suffocate, because we collected all the oxygen in our world. Wouldn't that be funny if like, we were able to collect all of the oxygen and then, like, we end up suffocating because we took all the oxygen out of the world. That'd be pretty funny. I mean, it's one of those things, again, where I would not be upset if that happened. Oh, so much in bar! <laughs> I guess we can start working on, uh, the tanks. We should have wool. Where's our wool? We have red dye still? No. How am I out of red dye? Dye. We don't want ceramic dye. No, that's right. It's not even called red dye, it's called rose red. So I can. Oh, I can philosopher spell minium stone black ink into a rose red. And guess what? I happen to have a. a, a love this minium stone. It's so helpful. There. Destabilized redstone. That'd be cool to make. But it takes way too much redstone to make a significant amount of that. What were we after? Oxygen. Tanks. So we need these tin canisters. Which I've put away all of my tin. So we're going to need three of these. There we go. And then. Oh, we already got everything we need. Look at that. They don't stack. Okay, we already just made a heavy oxygen tank. won't be as hard as I thought to get into space. I thought, you know, we were going to have a lot of trouble doing this. So we need this oxygen pan, which requires an invar gear, which we might have an invar gear already on hand. If not, I can always make one. 
They're not the most expensive things in the world. Let's see. Is this? No, that's an iron gear. Alright then. Make our own. I mean, it's not a hard thing to make. We just make a bar gear. We'll probably also want an oxygen compressor for when we get into space. So, um... Oh, jeez, that's going to be a lot. We don't have redstone on us. But we do have redstone right here. Redstone. Gear. What is it? No. This? Yeah, there we go. Oxygen fan. Then we needed another vent. Then, then we need one of these crazy things, which requires another oxygen vent. Not like that. Alright, so then how do we make this thing? Tin, 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 we need a tin canister. So, canister, vent, tin, 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 invar, 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 oxygen concentrator. And then we need another machine frame, which we can't actually make. Well, I mean, I can. Watch this. We need four of these. And we do this. Do that. There we go. That's why it's good that we made the medium stone. Glass. Um, do still have one of these. We have the redstone already on us, so we can we can make it. No, oh, we need a gold. That's what I was after. One gold. Glass, 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 glass. Iron, 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 iron. Machine frame. And then machine frame. That thing. This, 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 lead, 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 oxygen collector. Look at this. We are doing so well. It's crazy how good we're doing right now. I mean, I had a dream last night that when I went to play today, just like all of Alpha Inc. had been completely destroyed. Like, we were all, all of our materials were gone and just everything was ruined and yeah. It's a crazy dream. But um there's some dark one here. I think we're gonna call the episode here for today. We've done quite a bit. We made we're slowly making progress towards the uh towards the moon or whatever space planet we go to. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna call it here. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching this episode of 25 Days of Tech It, and I'll see you next time.